Hi everyone, Stepan here. I'm going to play another training game. My opponent in this one is... Uh, okay, firstly he's saying good luck, have fun, so I'm going to reply. He's 24-32. I think that's the highest rated opponent I've ever played. So I'm going to play the London system. I'll try to play it safe. I've played the Queen's Gambit in most of my previous games. Let me just see if everything is okay with the video. Okay, once again, I would like to apologize for what happened in the previous video. Firstly, once again to my opponent for swindling the win out of that rook end game four pawns down. And secondly, for the postman, neighbors, barking, and so on. Okay. Uh, my opponent is 24-32 and for some reason he is not moving. Now let's see what we get. I haven't played London in a long time in training games, I think. I want something safe now. Uh, in the previous game I got into a weird position. Uh, I had black, I equalized and then sort of messed it up later and then in the end game I definitely messed it up. Okay, why did he waste two minutes on his second move? What's going on? It appears that I'm going to have a time advantage uh, for no good reason. Keep wasting time. I'm actually trying to get over 2300 on leeches. I've never been over I've I've been over 2500 actually on a provisional rating on a trading training account but once it got stable I dropped below 2300 I don't know what he's thinking about I wouldn't want him to abort the game or something or I wouldn't want to win rating points by him timing out I would like him to play Chess is life, 159. Come on, man. So, yeah, uh, last five or six, ga six games. Okay, he wants to go for a Karo Khan. I'm happy to see that. Uh, I like playing uh, the exchange variation of the Karo Khan with both sides. And the downside in this move order is that he gets to. Uh, he gets to develop his bishop to f5, but it shouldn't be such a big deal. If queen b6, I have queen c1, and on bishop f5, I either have c4 or c3. I'll try to keep my time advantage by playing quickly, at least in the opening, because th this is my main weapon against the London with black. So I know this position with black. And... I don't... Okay, he wants to play it with f6. That's actually a variation I play. Uh, okay, so what do I do? He wants to play g5 or e5. So I'm just going to develop with knight d2. And see how he continues. I want to give myself the option for queen h5. If he overextends too quickly. If g5 now, then I have queen h5. So I don't want to block in my uh, my queen with knight f3. I also don't want to play bishop d3 and allow e5 takes takes and e4 later on. Also, this gives me a more pleasant position in the event of any bishop f5, where he doesn't have bishop f1. Okay, he plays e5 straight away. <clears throat> So if d, f, e, queen, h5, he has g6. If d, f, e, bishop, e, knight, e5, queen, h5, knight, g6. Uh, hmm. Is there nothing for me? So I don't think I want to take, but I have to take, so I'm going to take. Now, okay, bishop g3 seems forced, 
pretty much. Unless I have queen h5, but I don't think I have queen h5. I could have bishop e5, knight e5, queen e2. And on queen e7, f4, no, I don't have that either. So I have to retreat. I'm going to retreat. I don't want to waste time. He has a nice center, but it could crumble after something like bishop b5. It feels kind of overextended for him, so I'm going to play bishop b5, just to see what he does. I want to play knight e2 anyway, so I don't want my bishop on e2. Also on d3 it's a tempo gain. Now on bishop d6... How do I break this center down? I need to play either c4 or f4. He's giving up a pawn. What for? Everything seems to be defended. So if I take on e5, what's his plan? E, bishop e5, castles. I feel like I should be developing my pieces instead of taking this pawn. So I'm thinking knight gf3. If I play bishop c6, check, bc6, bishop e5, castles, I have to play knight e2. I don't like that, so I'm just going to play knight f3. I don't want to take this pawn. It seems kind of scary. And if he plays e4, I have knight e5. And if he castles, I have knight e5. Or bishop c6 and then knight e5. Also, he had knight g4 if I had taken attacking the bishop and attacking f2 in conjunction with rook e8. That would have been dreadful. Okay, so knight e5 was my idea. So what's wrong with it? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So I'm playing knight e5. Again, I'm just trying to weaken his center. And I think e4 is a weakening move. As long as my king is stuck on e1, I really don't want the e-file to be open. And if he plays bishop d7, I'm gladly taking the bishop pair. What happens on queen a4? Isn't he forced to play bishop d7? If he plays e3, I play bishop c6 check bc6, queen c6, check. I 
or no queen a4 e3 bishop c6 check bc6 f e3 and if bishop e3 queen c6 i'm gonna play queen a4 i think it works so e3 bishop c6 bc6 fe3 if bishop e3 queen c6 if knight g4 castle's queen side seems safe enough if he castles king side I'm playing bishop c6 check. I'm playing bishop c6. No, I'm not. I'm not because he has queen b2. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Bishop is very useful on g3. <clears throat> okay, he castles. He castles. I was kind of afraid of this. So I don't have to do anything, I can just castle king side. Because I don't want to lose my b2 pawn. If bishop c6, then queen b2, castles, bc6, queen c6, double attacking the rook and the bishop. Bishop c6, queen b2, castles. If queen d2, then I have rook a d1 followed by bishop d5 check. So bishop c6, queen b2 castles. Or does he have any tricks with? Bishop takes f2. So bishop c6, bishop f2, bishop f2, e3. Castles. ef2, rook f2, knight g4. Oof. I feel like I should be castling. E3 seems too dangerous. Bishop c6, bishop f2, bishop f2, e3. Yeah, I have to castle. Bishop f2 and e3 is too scary. Wait, does he have it after castles as well? Castles, bishop f2. Bishop f2, e3. He has it after castles as well. Well, I could take the with the rook. Castles, bishop f2, rook f2, e3, rook f6. And if 
ed2 check, then bishop f2. Okay, I'm castling, I'm castling. Okay, this was expected. Yeah, bishop f2 works now actually. Bishop f2, rook f2. My g4. I actually have bishop d4, so it's not too bad. Bishop f2, rook f2. If knight g4, I have bishop d4. Okay, okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. <sighs> Equal on the clock, it seems. I don't like the fact that my pieces are all the way over on the queen side. So I should have either taken on c6 or not played queen a4. Plays knight g4 first. Yeah, these are too many attackers. <clears throat> This isn't looking good. I cannot defend. Yeah, I just cannot defend. Okay, I have to play bishop d4. I don't have any other move. Bishop g3 simply doesn't work. Uh, on queen h6, I have h3. Yeah, queen h6, h3, queen d2, bishop c5, queen h6, h3, bishop d4, queen d4. So I'm defending everything. Still, I'm thinking queen h6 should be the best move. What am I running into? I don't see it, so I'm going to take. He doesn't have e3. 
And he doesn't have queen f6. He does have queen f6, but I don't think it's too dangerous. So e3 check, king e3. Wow, he resigned! Yes! Yeah! Okay! Yes! I'm over 2300! Yes! Okay, I'm really happy. This is an achievement for me, uh, and I, I have to tell you I'm really excited about it. Uh, next goal is going to be 2400. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Obviously, a lot of blunders. Let's see. Okay, e3. This is all normal, normal, normal. F6. So, usually they play f5 and then f6. Okay, knight d2. Black is better. Why is... Okay, knight d2. e5 takes, takes, takes. Takes. Knight of three. Okay, let me just confirm that taking this pawn is not good. Yes. Okay, knight e Knight e5 is a mistake. Queen b6. Okay. Bishop c6, b c6. Knight b3. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Of course, I didn't see this. I played queen a4. I should have taken on c6, but I castled, which is insane. Okay, if I take on c6, doesn't he have bishop f2? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Castles, okay, so knight e5 was correct, bishop e5, knight g4 was correct, bishop d4 was correct. Ah, takes on f2 is the mistake, he should have taken here first, but how? What happens when pawn takes? Okay, I'm going to block this. Ah, oh, and then queen h6. Okay. Knight takes f2, rook takes f2, rook takes f2. Bishop c5 first, what? Why? Okay, these are some high, high level tactics. Okay, so bishop c5 first. And then knight... Okay, I have to look at this again. Okay, so he takes on f2, which is a mistake. I take, take, take. He resigned here. This was actually a draw. Instead of king f2, I need to take. He takes. I play knight e4. And he should go rook g2, but if he takes the knight, then I trade everything and I actually win a piece. Wow! Okay. And after king f2, he resigned. I thought e3, king e3, queen e6, or queen h6. Let's say queen h6. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay. One more undeserved win, but I'll take it. I'm over 2300. Uh, see you tomorrow. Stay tuned for my chest. Bye-bye.